hi, or Alexa, maybe you saw me outside, or on Fox News, or maybe I teach your kid. My question is very simple. Uh, what does woke mean? Yes, I am the TikTok lady. Okay. What does woke mean? Woke is, is um, rooted in Marxism, and it's the, it's, uh, it's, what, what it means is that society is based in, um, pit, uh, in pitting people against one another. Here we go again. A Moms for Liberty member cannot define what they claim to hate. In, in um, basically giving somebody labels. So, um, as I'm sure you know what it, what it means that, that it comes from a, Mar a Marxist Route. Let's pause here. Upon her conclusion to this nonsensical rambling, I would then ask her to define Marxism. Continuing on. And it, it's, it, it, what, what it does is it tries to inspire a revolution and by, by creating a problem and telling people that they're either you know, the oppressor or the oppressed, they are, um, they are you know, they're, they're, they're wrong or, or they're right for, for behaving or acting a certain way. So, I'd say a person is right or wrong for acting or behaving a certain way. Well, I mean, or for, or for, for, for basically, for just who, who they are, um, characteristics that, that they can't, that are determined by their birth. Um, and it is, it, what it means at its root is it's, it's being awakened by a critical consciousness. And so critical is the, the key word there, and critical, basically gets, uh, sorry that I'm, I'm trying to work this out in my mind, but it, it basically gets to the root of, of, um, of, of creating a divide between people. Okay, so ultimately it's the division that is applying labels that divide. I'm not quite clear on the connection of Marxism, but... Notice how she passes the microphone off, but the damage is quite clearly done. Um, I mean, well, you are here representing an organization that has it on your stickers, on your folders, and everybody is here um, representing the parental power summit. And so that word is attached to everybody on this panel. Uh, no, I, no, I, I don't think so. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll refer you back to the previous, the, the, the previous conversation we had about coalitions. We, we have different views of uh, key important questions. Uh, I don't think any of us used that term um, when we talked, and so... It's, it's, it's on the folders. Yeah. No, that's fine. So, so... Uh, I mean, I, I'm talking about this out there. So, I, 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 I think... No, it's taking the mic. I'm surprised I'm on this one. No, no, it's good. It's okay. It's good. It's okay. Then an older gentleman tries taking the mic from the woman asking the question they cannot answer. Unreal. Okay. So let's go over a few things, shall we? What I have found to be a pattern with the DeSantis's and the Kellyanne's and many more, and even activist groups such as these that get propelled in order to fight the culture war so the most powerful people in society will benefit, including the DeSantis's, is that when you confront a lot of these groups and politicians about the meaning of something or just not allowing them to Shapiro the conversation, which is talking at a million miles a minute, and railroading you, slowing everything down, and asking follow-ups, what you will learn is that many of these folks are way out ahead of their skis. This is just a polarizing example. And there are many, but this is one where Moms for Liberty, whose founder we have already discussed, you could check that out on demand, is involved in a massive controversy. Massive. Bridget, our first ever interaction was when you retweeted a hate article about me from The Nationalist while I was a Sarasota County school student. 
you are a reminder that some people view politics as a service to others, while some view it as an opportunity for themselves. On this board, you have spent public funds that could have been used to increase teacher pay to change our district lines for political gain, remove books from schools, target trans and queer children, erase black history, and elevate your political career, all while sending your children to private schools because you do not believe in the public school system that you've been leading. My question is why doesn't an elected official using our money to harm our students and our teachers for her gain seem to matter as much to us as her having a threesome does. Bridget is essentially an anti-gay crusader who has now admitted to having sex at least once with another woman. In fact, here she is in 2022, standing behind Ron DeSantis when he signed the Don't Say Gay bill into law. That not only hurt her, but also crushed Moms for Liberty as a group. The key to all of this is slowing the conversation down and trying to get in questions for them to elaborate on what they mean. Because usually what you will find, and we've seen this with a lot of MAGA supporter clips on this network, is that they will tie themselves in knots or be unable to answer the question. And another thing that I noticed in this answer from the Moms for Liberty representative is she kept using the word critical, which lends credence to the thought that she is mixing culture wars all in one, which is what is woke, which has practically been put to bed. It's, it's almost like when Republicans would go after like, Washing machines. Remember that? That was dumb. So it feels like an afterthought at this point. But her using critical over and over and over again would lead one to believe that in the back of her mind, she is still trying to hammer down another culture war, which was critical race theory, which they also can't define. So what we have here over and over again are activists and I'm blanking on the guy's name, but he went on Fox News and he tweets out his plans prior to doing it like an absolute villain. Chris Rufo. So the Rufos of the world, the Moms for Liberties of the world, what we have seen is politicians attach themselves to these people in order to further these divisive messages because what they don't want to do at the end of the day is educate. They want a dumbed down, privatized educational system where they and their donors will benefit and we simply will not, period.